Hi guys, welcome to the channel and today I was going to take you on a ride in my beautiful city Dobridge but it started raining and there are a lot of potholes here that are quite deep yeah so I'm, I don't know I'm going to try to do it to make it happen all for you guys I'm here with my assistant Rossi hello Rossi how are you fine yeah she's fine as you can see there's a beautiful rain and a little bit of Sun you can't see the rain sorry my camera is not that good but there's a beautiful hole right here and it's quite oh yeah it's quite deep now you can see the rain better because it's getting stronger yeah what's the word of rain getting heavy. yeah the heavy. rain is getting heavier <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but yeah otherwise the weather is quite beautiful there's the beautiful sunset there is a beautiful bulgarian hole on the bulgarian streets nothing new and i just towed the car yeah sorry i'm going to take you on a ride so you can see my beautiful city that is Dobridge. Yeah, and now you can see my automatic gearbox right here. Third gear, baby. Yeah, perfect. There's a big hole right here. There's a very good BMW. Yeah. It's some it's probably after it's probably some drug dealer's car. But who cares? It's a cool car. We have arrived to our first destination, which is the monument of uh, Khan Asparuch. Khan Asparuch was the ruler of the Bulgars on the second half of the 7th century, I think, and he established the first Bulgarian Empire in uh, 681. And just like that, we are right next to the monument, which, needless to say, looks epic. Just, just for comparison, go. On to the next one. In the center of Dobridge, there are around, I think, five? No, four. Okay, they are around four, I'm not sure, which is uh, what actually is in the center of the city and it's out of the center. Uh, but yeah, our town loves our monuments and not just our town. Yes, uh, it uh, reminds of uh, it. It reminds us of our culture as Bulgarians, and uh, what we actually what we suffered during the Ottoman Empire, which we were enslaved for around five hundred years. Yeah, five hundred years, in which we lost a lot, and don't forget the, the wars and everything. It wasn't a pleasant experience. And there's a police car right over there. Okay, the police actually in Bulgaria are pretty nice. Well, most of them. You get away with a lot of things, not just because they don't want to do their job, but... Now we are in the city park and there's another monument of the Russian soldier. As you all know, Bulgaria loves 
very much Russians. Yeah, actually we do, most of us. Uh, not because they are just Russian and Slavs, but uh, also because they helped us uh, beat the Ottomans at the Russian-Turkish war. Nobody will be forgotten, nothing will be forgotten. And this beautiful path led, led us to the Swans Lake. And here we see the swimming complex, or, or at least a part of it, the swimming complex Rusalka. And I say the part of it, I par wait, and I say a part of it because the bigger part is abandoned, and they uh, they do. Uh, the, wait, try one second. There are people still in it, but they are just guards that guard if uh, somebody wants to steal something or somebody wants to kill someone. Something like that, Bulgarian gangster shit. Yeah? There's a gate here and it's abandoned. Oh shit, there's a dog. We may get in. If this video gets a lot of likes, and if you want us to get in, we will. There's a big fucking dog inside here. <laughs> but I don't know. This right here is the skate park of Dobrich. Uh, media in Bulgaria say that it is the best skate park in the whole of Bulgaria. And actually, I didn't, I have not seen any of the other skate parks in Bulgaria, so I don't know if this is true or not. Do your own research. I guess smarter every day. <laughs> 